Dolphins fans, welcome to Dolphins Today. I am Will Scott, and on today's show, we are previewing the Christmas Day game between the Miami Dolphins and the Green Bay Packers. The Finns, a four-point favorite here, the total at 50. One o'clock Eastern time kickoff on Christmas Day in Miami. I think all we want for Christmas is for this losing streak to end. Three-game skid for the Dolphins. Been a roller coaster season. Three straight wins, three straight losses, five straight wins, three straight losses. Finns got to get this thing back on track. Who do you got? You got the Finns or do you have the Packers? Type MIA or type GB down in the comment section. Curious to hear what y'all think. Let's take a look at the injury report. Teron Armstead. This is from Wednesday, by the way. Uh, we do not have thir- We're filming this during Dolphins Live on Thursday. We do not have Thursday's report yet. Uh, Teron Armstead did not participate with a toe peck in a knee. He's going to play. He's Teron Armstead. He plays through everything. River Craycraft with a calf injury. Javon Holland didn't participate with a neck injury. Uh, that's news. Uh, hopefully he's okay. Keon Crossan was limited with a knee. Eric Fisher limited with a calf. Jalen Phillips also limited with a toe. Duke Riley ribs. He was limited. Eric Rowe hamstring limited. Durham Smythe limited with a quad. Jeff Wilson, good to see that he at least was limited and not DNP. Uh, so it looks like he's on track to play on Sunday. Teddy Bridgewater was a full participant with a knee. So it looks like he's finally going to be activated for Sunday's game and serve as the backup. And then Elijah Campbell, uh, he's in concussion protocol. He was a participant as well as Cater Kohu. The Packers injury report, not as deep. David Bakhtiari with a knee. Uh, did not participate. That'd be per- that'd be a pretty big loss for their O line if he can't go. Elchin Jenkins with a knee did not participate. Rudy Ford was limited. Keyshawn Nixon as well. Aaron Rodgers uh, listed with thumb and rib injuries, but he was a p- full participant, so he's going to play. Chris Barnes the hand, and then AJ Dillon a full participant as well. Next, we're going to get in to my keys to victory in this football game. But first, I want to remind you all, be sure to subscribe. We're going live Christmas Day at 1230 Eastern Time. Looking forward to seeing everybody there. Go down, subscribe to the channel. We're going to be live, going to be crazy. We had a great time last week. Now we're going to have a great time with you all on Christmas as well. My number one key to victory here is to start fast. Uh, I don't think the Dolphins can play from behind here. They got to come out with some confidence, come out with some swagger right away, play physical, play hard, keep the foot on the gas, start this game uh, start this game fast and score first. To do that, they probably got to get Tua going. Uh, I want to see Tua slinging it, man. He hasn't, he obviously looked better against the Bills, but he hasn't been himself since the bye week. I want him just to come out and, and play his best football when his team really needs him to the most. Number three on my keys to victory here is to feed Raheem Mostert. He's coming off the best game that we have seen from him all year. 136 yards, 17 carries, averaged eight yards per carry, ran a 67-yard, had a 67-yard run as well. So he was fantastic in that football game. And I feel like if the Dolphins here can get the run game going, they are not going to lose. If Mostert can come out, and, you know, he's not going to put up those same numbers again probably. But if he has a, you know, 90, 100-yard game, I feel like the Dolphins win this football game. That takes some pressure off of Tua as well. You can bet on the game at BetUS. Use promo code DOLPHINS125 to get a 125% deposit bonus. That means if you put in $100, you're going to start with $225 in your account. It's a great deal. Go and take advantage. Here is the spread. Dolphins four-point favorites, the total at 50. So go and take advantage. I really like minus four. I think the Dolphins are going to take care of business on Sunday against the Packers. Speaking of the Packers, my number four key here is to contain Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers is a great quarterback, man. He's not his prime anymore, you can argue but he's still a really good quarterback, and you can't allow him to throw for 400 yards like you've done with Josh Allen this season. Uh, You know, Josh Allen had a great game last week, threw for 400 yards the last time, uh, I should say the time before he played the Dolphins. So contain Aaron Rodgers, force turnover to don't let him do anything crazy. 
And this kind of goes with that. Third down defense. The Dolphins have had a horrendous third down defense during this losing streak. They rank 26th in the league in third down defense. As I like to say, third and Boyer. Doesn't matter if it's third and three, third and 17. They're probably going to give it up. Please, please correct that. Make sure you make sure you improve in that area because uh, you can't be giving Aaron Rodgers and that Packers offense more chances. Players to watch. We begin with Tua Tungavailoa. How is he going to play? Are he playing with a little bit of, uh, of a chip on his shoulder after not being after not being named to the initial Pro Bowl roster? I think Tua is going to have a really big game. Bradley Chubb. We've talked about him and you know, how he's kind of been disappointing. Uh, with the Dolphins. I feel like this might be a really big game for Bradley Chubb. He might kind of surprise some people with his performance on Sunday. He might start to get a lot more involved. He's getting more acclimated in this defense. Uh, I think it's partly on Josh Boyer as well to get Chubb, uh, you know, to get Chubb a little bit more involved here. Mike Kosicki. Uh, it's on Mike McDaniel, obviously, to get Kosicki more involved. You heard Kosicki tell Dawson Knox last week, like, hey, they're effing using you. I'm happy for you. Kind of sounded like a shot at the Dolphins. Use Gesicki as a red zone target. You got Tyreek. You got Waddle. You got Sed Wilson. You got Sherfield. Those DBs, that defense, they're going to be watching those guys. Take advantage of that. Gesicki over the middle. Get him involved, especially in the red zone. I know he's probably not going to be back next year. I know he's not the best fit, but go to him early and often on Sunday. I would like to see him uh, really do well. And then Tyreek Hill. I feel like Tyreek Hill might explode in this football game. He might have like an 150-yard game. Uh, I really like him matched up with this Packers defense. I think he's going to have a really big game. And then maybe Alec Ingold, kind of a sleeper name to watch here, is maybe a touchdown score. Uh, I really like Ingold. I like the way they use him. He also, in addition to Tua, was a really big Pro Bowl stop. Look, the Dolphins cannot afford a slip up here. It just can't happen. You look at the current AFC landscape. They've lost three straight games. They've gone from the two seed to the seven seed. In fact, if they had beaten San Francisco, they would have been a one seed that week. So you got the Bills right now. They're very much in control of the division. That would have uh, not been the case if the Dolphins had beaten them last week. So they're number one. The Chiefs, number two. Bengals, number three. They've won six straight. Titans, number four. The Ravens, number five, chart number six. So the Dolphins right now are barely on the right side of the playoff bubble. If you lose this game, you don't have the tiebreaker with the Jets. You could fall outside of the playoffs if you lose this game. I I I'm, I'm nervous. I I'm nervous about this game because the Packers still have something to play for as well. If they went out, they'll have an outside chance to make the playoffs. Go down, predict the score. Dolphins and Packers, who do you got? What is the score going to be? I think the Dolphins snapped the losing streak. Take care of business on Christmas Day. I have 31-21. to 21. Dolphins getting the win over the Packers on Christmas, which would be a great Christmas present for us Dolphins fans to have the Finns get the win and not seal a playoff spot, but they would be in damn good shape if they were to win the game. Go down, subscribe to the channel. Again, we're going to be live for a watch party on Sunday. Really excited about it going live at 11.30 Central, 12.30 Eastern Time. Dolphins and Packers, hope you all have a Merry Christmas.